What I really wanted to bring you today and why I started with the PowerPoints in general was the what's new in 2021. So it's been out for a couple months now. Um, I wasn't able to do it in our last webinar because we were tackling some other things in there, but I really wanted to talk about some of the new things. And uh, there is one very, very, very exciting feature that I think you're all gonna be thrilled about. And I started with it because I think it's so big. Um, the global search in the catalog has returned. Um, for many of you who didn't use 2014 AutoCAD Electrical or older, you weren't even aware that this existed. Um, but it was something that in 14 and earlier, we actually had, and, and honestly, I love the new catalog since 14. I think that this search is a lot better than it was back then. Back then it kind of looked like an Excel sheet. But up in the upper right-hand corner, there was always this way that you could search your entire catalog database, so all tables in the catalog. Um, and when we moved to this new platform of the catalog that we you see on screen here, um, we lost that. That was the global search was was removed from it by the nature of how it was it was done here. And it was a big request. It actually came out of the ideas station. Uh, to get it back in there, and it was topped kudos. Uh, so many, many kudos with a little thumbs up on it were being given to that one. So the um, the product team moved forward with actually bringing that one it back into this, and it's a really exciting thing with 2021. So I'll, when we go live into the software, I'll show you that. Uh, but it's it's awesome, and it's very very exciting to see. Um, there are also additional catalog content updates from Eaton, from Siemens, and even additional um, PLC information added in with uh, with 2021. There were user interface enhancements, so additional um, refreshing of icons actually over all three of these releases. They kind of kept getting improved with um, around clarity, crispness, uh, crispness um, sharpening uh, of the light theme for those who still go back to the light theme, which I normally do. Mine right now, my 2021 is still in dark theme, but when I'm presenting, I often go to light. So anybody who uses that, um, you'll appreciate some of the new updates to that. Um, and even optimizing some of the background colors to, to handle that contrast a little bit better. So again, just all things to help with the eyes for many of us that are, are in it all the time. Um, additional 4K monitor support has been added. So over the last three or four releases, we've been getting more and more and more dialog boxes and, and palettes updated for 4K monitor support. So that was additionally added. Of course, you always go into full screen mode and, and words get overlapped with images. <laughs> it did not look like this earlier. Um, some more general enhancements. There was some uh, database, obviously the project database that runs in the background that that fuels everything for electrical um, had some more stability enhancements added to it. Um, and then there were some path updates for the, the pick project list that, that you can do inside the, the environment file. So anybody who's tweaking that in there, you can see that some of those enhancements were made. Um, Publishing to hyperlinks, they are now actually adding cross-references to those hyperlinks, and there's more enhanced hyperlink capabilities being added to it. So it's not not just parent-child, as you see in the dialog box, but um, there's, there's additional enhancements that have been added. Um, and then even more directory updates, again, with the environment file around project management. Um, just some quick uh, drawing creation updates, uh, inserting components and wires. Um, pin assignments of circuit breaker parents are now um, uh, correct number of, there, there was a little bit of a bug that was uh, submitted to it. And so this is this was to solve some of the correct number of child contact bugs that we were seeing in that. Um, it improved stability of the fan in out workflow. Um, the wire import brings in all aspects of the wire properties um, where apparently for some it wasn't uh, doing that. So that was another um, enhancement that was just uh, cleaned up and brought in. And then wire numbers that are inserted using the insert terminal um, from the schematic list display now on the panel. So they're being shared out with that um, X data back into those panel terminals to be seen there. So those were all updates made. Uh, reporting updates. So for any of you that actually are are running different things within uh, actually editing via Lisp with Bill of Materials, there were additional functions for those that were added um, in the German version of the software. It was already in um, the English version, but these were things that were updated in there. Um, sorting options in the set file are now um, uh, sticky and staying in there. 
Uh, and then it just improves stability when generating those reports. Some very, very large reports, some people um, reported latency and other things. And so they've, they've improved even enhancement of that. I never really experienced it, but I think some others have, so. And that's it.